Today, three guesses where I am. <laughs> and, uh, I've been in the outback. That was quite eventful. Binu's population has doubled over the last couple of years at six. Uh, that's hot. Also famous in 2009 for a massive mouse. The wife wouldn't like it. Two guys on BMW GS 1200s and uh, they came towards me, gave them the wave, nothing. A lot of people must have died. That really, really personally hacks me off, right? Anyway, we'll see what Northampton has to offer tomorrow. You'd rather be on the Fulham Road. Well, good morning from Northampton, away from all that rubbish of materialism and all that kind of stuff. Here, you're welcomed by an emu. It is wonderful. It's about living life to the full. There are two things in my experience that you can do in rain on a long ride. The rest is history. Mm, my plan worked. A waving motion to get rid of the flies. They obviously made this their home. This just looks like desert. I've done about 160 kilometers. I'm as dry as a bone. Truly inspirational. That's not a very big one. Brilliant. Um, I think my overriding feeling is that quite a lot of wind turbulence. I want to be part of nature. I'm infested with flies which are covering my face, <laughs> but mustering the odd dolphin. It is the perfect end. Um, this is Nikki. She's 38. It's probably some of the finest riding I think I've ever done. On all fours in the museum. Males are too aggressive. For some 20,000 years here. And they all hang out together off and on. So what are you doing not waving on hovercraft? I absolutely love riding. Hardcore men and women do it. Easy. They produce 4,000 tonnes of the little yellow things every year. It really upsets me, you know. I just want to get that door and go... Ah! Slam it right in their face. I think it's the concentration, really. Good luck with the kangaroos, that's all I can say. It's so middle of nowhere, um, and I'm starting to feel slightly unusual.